What's going on everybody? I'm doing this video for a friend of mine and he wanted to know what kind of output power I get with this little Texas Star 350 HDV. Now I've had this amplifier for a long time. It's been just sitting around collecting dust. Uh, it's kind of a piece of crap. I call it my Texas turd. Only for the fact that uh, you breathe on this thing wrong and it goes into the wild oscillations. Uh, but other than that, as you're going to hear, it actually does a really good job uh, not chopping up the audio. It is decently biased. I'm, I'm shocked. Now, it's not filtered or anything, so it, for this test, it doesn't matter because we're only going to do a dummy loop. We're only doing an output test. So you want to know how, what kind of output power I get with my Hermes Light 2 Plus. As you know, the Hermes Light 2 Plus on Hermes is a QRP radio, so most you're going to see is about 5 watts max on sideband. So that's what we're going to do here. Okay, so test setup is I'm going to be using the same audio uh, track as I used for my last video. All right, so there's my crap voice in there. <laughs> it's going to be transmitting on Station B. Or, yeah, Station B. Uh, the Hermes Light 2 Plus. It's going to go through the amplifier, out of the amplifier through my LP100A coupler. And it's going to spit out the wattage there. All right, and on and in background, I'm going to have my Station A on. And the, the audio has been coming through my JBL soundbar right there and my subwoofer. So it might get a little bit uh, poppy and boomy. Like I said, this audio profile is not dialed in yet. But uh, So we'll start off. The first part of the video, uh, or first transmit, I'll have the amp or, yeah, amplifier off. And then, uh, then halfway through, I'll click it on. Okay, so you can tell the difference. And then each way, I'm going to try to keep the camera steady. I'm going to be moving around quite a bit, so... It's got some image stabilization in it, so I'll try not to make it dizzy here. So I'm going to be going back and forth, so hang on to your chairs here. <laughs> All right. Let me uh, get this set up here. We're going to... Actually, let's turn this on. Station A on. Okay. And by the way, we're going to be doing... We're going to have a little fun here. We're going to be transmitting 10kc. There it is. 10kc is what we're sobbing. <laughs> Why not? You gotta have a little fun. Alright, so... Okay, amplifier off. Let's go ahead and... I'm gonna get this, uh... The audio going first. Oh crap. I'm trying to look through my viewfinder and keep get the screen at the same time here. Alright, it's gonna go ahead and play this audio track, and then I'll put the Hermes into transmit. So, here we go. Audio track is playing. Go ahead and key up. Okay, here we go. 10KC sideband. Hermes Light like 2 Plus. The audio processing is cakewalk by Band Lab. I always get those two mixed up. I would say Band Lab by Cakewalk. It's cakewalk by Band Lab, and it's free. All right. So Hermes Light like 2 Plus, cakewalk, and then the interface box is the Scarlet Solo Focus Right, and then that goes into the Band Mini Computer. The Band Mini Computer is uh, good for what I need it for. It, it's a uh, a little harder on doing any kind of uh, video editing on it, so I, I I did download the software on it. I had the free version, and it kind of struggled to pan around with it a little bit. So it is what it is. So the B Lake Mini computer. All right, turn the amplifier on. Oh, Hermes Light Two Plus. You you're gonna hear dropouts because uh, it has a relay snipper circuit in it. Uh, software. So anyhow, and then uh, what you're seeing this on, on, I'm receiving this on my A station. The A station consists of, of course, Thetis. They both run Thetis, by the way. Uh, no, yeah, okay, so it's my A station running my non-7000 DLE Mark II. So transmitting on the Hermes Light 2 Plus and uh, receiving on my non-7000 DLE uh, Mark II. So it's pretty interesting. So as I'm transmitting this, I can listen to it in my receiver on the A station, but reach over and make audio adjustments on the Hermes Light 2 Plus, my B station transmitter. So it's a great way of dialing in your audio, especially if you want to get a, you know, a 4K profile or if you're interested in getting like a 5K profile, and on up, or even like a uh, 2.9 KC profile, you can really dial in those audio profiles per uh, it's dropping out on between the words. Want, so pretty cool stuff. All right, I'm gonna hang up the phone here. Catch you guys later. KP68, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, on this experimental setup. Click, click. All right, there you go. When I'm gonna stop this. Get the Hermes out of transmit. Let's go ahead and stop that uh, recording. And we're going to turn station A receive off. So, there you go. So, with that uh, 4 to 5 watt output, this is about 4 watts. Most I saw was like 170 watts out of that thing. So, not bad. And it, uh, other than those dropouts, 
you know, uh, Sabi, you have to keep talking. That's one thing I hate. I can't stand about the RF sniffer circuits. Um, that's why everything I have, everything I've ever had is direct key. So, but uh, I tell you what, put some filtering uh, after this if you're, you know, the concerns about being spectrally pure. And then uh, put a direct keyer in it. Not bad at all. It actually sounded pretty nice. So I could, uh, when it was dropping out, you could hear the uh, dropouts uh, on the uh, station A receive. You could hear the little interruptions, but all in all, not too shabby. All right, and to get out of here, this has been the Hermes Light 2 Plus into the Texas Star DX350. Uh, little output test. All right, I got to get out of here. Free and clear. Click, click.